Hey besties, thrifting adventures are back, so let's go book thrifting. Hey besties, it is voiceover Sally here. I hope you missed me because I missed you. This is a Goodwill and of course we had to kick off with the Goodwill classic, the 50 Shade series. This thrift store is a little bit smaller so I had the chance to go through every single book but even then I feel like I did miss some good ones which is like totally my bad but it's like really easy to get distracted. Anyways, I saw Big Magic, which I almost got this book a couple years ago, which I was in my like self-help like book era, which I feel like everyone goes through one, but you know, for me, it didn't really last long. The thing about this book selection is that there is like a big mix of genre, but they don't organize it with like fiction and young adult. So everything is just splattered all over the place. Like there's a Bridgerton book, but next thing you know, I could find like a YA book and then a children's book. Like here's a YA book, but they're just like there. And there's like self-help books mixed up where when I go to Goodwill, I usually can see like clear distinction. Did I say that right? Anyway, clear categorize like sections of genres. I thought this was a beautiful cover, but I swore I saw this suck like, somewhere before in my life. Like this is not my first time seeing this book, but I could not pull it from my memories. Like did I see this in my childhood and I can't remember? Like where have I seen this book? I don't know. Fun fact, Match was the first fantasy book I read in high school and I absolutely did not enjoy it at all. I actually never finished it. I think I got to chapter two and my college year roommate, my first year roommate, not my college year roommate, was like the biggest fan of fantasy. And I was like, yeah, I'm not really into fantasy. And she was like, what like fantasy books have you read? And I was like, oh, I only read Match. And she was like, that is literally the worst fantasy book ever. Like you need to try something else. And I I was like no like I, I genuinely don't think I enjoyed it like match was like not it for me and she was like no like genuinely I would not recommend match like read something else so that's my little connection with match I also think I've said this before, but I love seeing book of the month books at the Goodwill because, or any thrift store in general, because I love seeing the year it came with because this one is from 2020, but just seeing like what book of the month books I can find and what year they came out along with the month is just really fun to me. This is when I scored absolutely majorly. I found a stack of One Direction CDs. So whoever became a Direction Nader and donated these, thank you. Because now I own three One Direction CDs for $1.99 each. So thank you. Truly, my Directioner heart is screaming. This book caught my eye from afar and I think it's part of like the Red Crown series. 
we are at a new thrift store. Let's go in and see what kind of books they have since we didn't get too lucky with thrift store number one. But we did hit the jackpot on One Direction CDs if we were looking for One Direction CDs, which I feel like we're always looking for One Direction CDs. So we scored major there. We are at stop number two and a funny story that happened is that when I was looking at these books, there were a group of friends at like the shelf behind me or I guess in front of me and they were looking for books with the smuttiest covers and the smuttiest scenes and I was like giggling to myself because they were so funny and they were pulling like these historical romances in like mass paperbacks and they were like, oh, this is definitely smutty and they were like reading scenes and and it was just so funny and I was laughing like inside like really hard because like those are the books I read but like you know they were kind of like teasing it and making fun of it but you know I don't take it to the heart because you know they were like definitely like teenagers but it was just really funny This book. The moment I pulled out this book, I was like, this is beautiful. Like the person on this book looked absolutely real. Like this is beautifully illustrated. And it also looked like a like self-awareness book because like the bow, the iPhone, it was all just like, whoa, I loved it. Anyways, you won't believe what I found next. I thought it was coming up sooner than later. That's why I already started introducing it. But just, okay, here it is. Whoa my favorite book of all time the kiss quotient by helen huang i literally started to drop it but this i like couldn't believe i found it at the thrift store in brand new condition and this is actually not my first time finding it this is my second time finding it so like literally what is life i love helen huang and the fact that you can find like these popular books these amazing romances at the thrift store. Don't sleep on the thrift store, guys. This book I know if I was in high school, I would absolutely like devour this because it seems like gossip, drama, like everyone has secrets, like Gossip Girls meets Pretty Little Liars, somewhere in the middle. I have never watched those shows, but in book form, I know like high school me would absolutely eat this up. The moment I pulled out this book, I was like, James Franco wrote a book? Like, how come no one's talking about this? But he was just on the cover and he wrote the introduction for this book. But this is also a movie, which I also did not know that. So what is going on in my world? I live under the rock, the rock, a rock. Call me Patrick Starr. I'm not a big poetry girly, but this was the second book I saw from this author with like this poetry book basically and you saw me pull out the first one. So I was like, oh, this is like a collection of poetry. So you could see here of my little stack. And I was like, I wonder if like, you know, it was like one is about love, one is about like friendship, that kind of like series. I was curious about it. I'm trying to be more of a poetry girly, but I don't know if I am. Also at the last thrift store, there was like six of these books of like good to great. So I don't know if there's just like an overstock somewhere and all the Goodwills are collecting them. 
Of course, there are Halloween decorations out already, even though it is still August. So there was this mask with this super long beard. I think it's supposed to be a wizard, but it was just chilling there. And I was like, oh, there's definitely blocking of some good books, but there, there wasn't, so. Here are the finds of the days. Of course, we have The Kiss Quotient, absolutely amazing book for $3.99. What a steal, go grab this if you see it. No One Asked For This, which is a essay book. I don't really know what the essays are about, but beautiful cover. Writers and Lovers, which I have the hardcover, so I was like, do I need the paperback? I didn't get it. Days by Moonlight, beautiful cover, don't know what it's about. Two poetry books, I didn't get it either. One final thrift stop just to see what they have and I've been looking for really cute clothes but I haven't really found any luck so I want to try one last time and since I'm here, let's look at the books. I walk in, this is what I see. It ends with us by Colleen Hoover. Who would have guessed, who would have thought, $2.99. This is a bestseller on Amazon and you can find it at Goodwill. Like, hello? Another Goodwill classic, we have part of the Twilight series. I also found this book, which I almost bought at a used bookstore, and I think it was like $12, and they're selling this for four bucks, which I was like, I'm having such a good, like, good luck at this thrift store. I saw the space book, which I know my friend's little sister really loves, so like, I when I see it, I'm like, oh, I, I think of her. This could be super nostalgic to some people. It is Pretty Little Liars. I think, yes it is. I personally did not watch nor read any of that series, so it's just there. Here's me with It Ends With Us. I was like, what? And then Island Time, which I almost bought at like 12 bucks, but here it is. And I was just like, wow. I'm actually shocked. I can't believe I walked in and I found a Coho book. Literally someone commented on my TikTok, they were like, Coho's gonna be the next Goodwill classic. And I was like, really? Here we are. Last thrift store, there were some pretty good finds. I can't believe I found Coho. That was pretty shocking to me, but I'm not surprised because someone did comment on my TikTok. They were like, Coho is gonna be the next classic at the thrift store. And I was like, really? And here it is. So they manifested that or they told me about it early on. So I was like, oh my gosh, it's here. Anyways, it's been a long day of book thrifting. It's been a long day of driving. So I really just wanna go home and rest. But thank you so much for driving along with me and going thrifting with me today. It's been so much fun looking at books. I missed it. I haven't been book thrifting in so, so long. So thank you for coming along with me. I hope you had fun. I definitely had fun. I hope you can't see my gum. Like the gum I'm chewing, not like my actual mouth gum. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you want to see next, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace. Bye, besties.